panic on a scale of zero, I'm not panicked at all. I'm I'm chilling to ten where I'm the Jets and the holy shit. I, I think it's five. six and a half for me because Andy Reid got Andy Reid was admitted to the hospital after the game, clearly not healthy. Um, you know, having some issues there. That's going to be you know Eric Bieniemy is a is a candidate for the USC job. So there's maybe a little bit of distraction there. Steve Spagnuolo has not done a great job with this defense. Um, they came out actually fairly strong in this game, forced a couple punts at the beginning, um, and the Chiefs offense just, you know, uh, didn't, you know, they, the Chiefs offense, and the, this might be unfair, but the Chiefs offense basically has to score every drive in order for this team to be successful. And that's obviously a huge bar, um, especially when um, you're very top heavy at the skill position. Um, but the D and the defense did get some stops late. Like they got a stop. They got the the stop at the very end to tie the game at 24. Right. And the chiefs had the ball with a chance to go down and kick a field goal and win the game. And Mahomes threw an interception. And so like you come from this game and you're like in both their losses, the, the formula for them to lose was very clear, really struggle playing defense, be out physical at times, right. Against the Ravens, it was at the line of scrimmage against the chargers it was at the catch point on the offensive side of the ball uh, on their defense and don't and, and play sloppy football on offense right like that was in the baltimore game it was an interception it was a bad snap it was a fumble by clyde edwards a today it was an, a couple interceptions by mahomes um a, a fumble by clyde edwards a and 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 that was you know that's not good enough and um am i am i concerned yes um, they haven't lost. This is the only division game they've lost. Um, it, so they can obviously make it up, but like the path to the Super Bowl is a lot harder now that there's only one one seed. So, uh, and I don't think the Chiefs are a favorite to get that anymore. They should be very concerned. Now, I was ridiculed for betting the undefeated Las Vegas Raiders. That was a good bet. To win the division at plus 750. They uh, pulled it out, obviously. Do you think? The Miami do Dolphins. you think that the? So I, I agree that it was a good bet. It made, made numerical sense. Everybody that talks shit to you on Twitter, I I came in and caped for you a little bit, and I said, you know, explain what would your handicap be? Because our numbers said that the Kansas City Chiefs going in the week had a fifty three percent chance to win the division. Everybody said you got to throw that shit out the window if that's the case. And I sh kindly showed them that at Pinnacle the Chiefs were about fifty nine percent. At DraftKings they were about fifty. 7% circa was more like in the mid 60s so like we were on the low end but not all that like if you yeah. if you're laying minus price with the Chiefs right now I think you're insane and, and I think you have to wait a little bit longer because I think there's going to be a couple weeks here where other teams continue to win and you might get a plus price on them so my I agree with you on the concern here's my here's the macro concern mm -hmm. that I have when I look back on these three games and I think about the most important player on the field for the Kansas City Chiefs is Patrick Mahomes. And there are more disgusting turnovers that come to mind than there are holy shit amazing plays. Mm -hmm. And that bears out in the data. He has more turnover worthy plays than he does big time throws. That he sailed a pass to Kelsey today. There, He made so many high variance throws on the right side of variance. You know, every single no look throw ended up being a conversion for a first down on a third and long or yep. something like that. Today it was a pick. Um, and th that, do I think it will come back? Yeah, absolutely. But it's concerning because the rest of their offense doesn't seem to be efficient enough to where those plays can be overcome and you're relying on these big plays to happen, and they're just not happening. Uh, the rest of the team is not particularly good. I'll, I'll say this as well. The offensive line, for how much they invested in it, did, did not look particularly great today. Well, did you see, I mean, the article that I wrote about returning five, yeah. you know, not returning five offensive linemen, I mean, these are things that happen, you know? And like, I think ultimately, they'll be fine, you know, and I, I, you know, people are offended by the weirdest things, but I said on, on Twitter this week, I said, you know, the best thing that could happen to the Chiefs is that Thune and then the three rookies on the right side all play well enough for them to walk on Orlando Brown. Because Orlando Brown's, like, not very good. You know, like, he very much was covered up by a scheme, uh, I think, in Baltimore. And the problem is, um, the problem is that, like, 
you know, what what are what is their recourse here? Like, what are they going to be able to do? You know, because they don't have they don't like they, they they there's not some guy coming in to to play left tackle for them. You know, and 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 you know, it was always like in a weird way, like no one really understood that like all the moves they made this offseason at offensive line was to make them and now Orlando Brown actually played okay today relative to normal yeah I mean he did give up two hurries he's beaten five times um but like all the moves they made on the offensive line was to get like to slightly below where they were starting last season with Fisher and Schwartz like they're not better than they were last year and and Mahomes has to be better at negotiating the pocket like he you know and they they seem overly committed to running on early downs too which I think is a blunder for them 